Well, thanks once again for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Now, this video we're going to see today is uh, from the Phil Denton engineering guys who built these twin shop bikes for the American twin shop team who came to race at the 2012 Vets MX Nation at Farley Castle. Now, there is already a version of this uh, video on my YouTube channel. Although this time I thought I would give you a more updated version and just give you a bit more information about the machines. Now the initial idea to build uh, these four bikes actually began in uh, 2011. Now American motocross legend uh, Jeff Stanton was actually racing at the 2011 Vets MXDN event but to say the least he was not impressed with a particular bike he was riding on the day. Now, Phil Denton had a couple of Hondas at this very same event and Jeff uh, had then asked if he could maybe try one uh, due to having such bad luck on his own race bike. Anyway, the story goes after a few laps of the circuit, Jeff returned to the paddock and he was well chuffed with uh, the Honda he was now riding and uh, Jeff made that particular bike his race bike for the rest of the weekend. Anyhow, at the finish of the 2011 MXDN event, uh, Jeff then asked Phil if he would uh, like to build uh, four twin shot bikes for the American race team for the 2012 event. And uh, this is basically how this project uh, got up and running. And naturally, Phil thought this was going to be quite a challenge to build four of these twin shot bikes within 12 months. Uh, considering that Phil never even had one single part to build one bike. Anyhow, as luck would have it, uh, Phil had a friend in Florida in the USA who uh, would help Phil locate what he needed for these bikes through his contacts over there. And then he would have the parts placed in a container and then shipped to the UK. Now, of course, you can't just walk into a dirt bike shop and order brand new off the shelf parts for a 30 year old Honda CR250 or 480 so every part that Phil needed to build these machines would of course have to be bought by any means whether that meant sourcing second hand parts and renovating them or uh, other parts that Phil couldn't uh, put his hands on he would have to make in his engineering shop. Now when uh, Phil eventually received the container full of the Honda parts uh, obviously a full inventory uh, then took place to see if he had most of the parts to actually start the construction of these four bikes. Now uh, the frames of course were the first place to start and two of the frames were uh, modified because they were going to be taking the uh, big uh, 480 motors and the remaining two frames of course would be uh, made up into 250 bikes which of course you can uh, see here one of the finished 250s. Now naturally uh, most of the engines on the all four bikes required a lot of renovation and uh, some new parts. Uh, in fact uh, some of the gearboxes on the engines were absolutely worn out and uh, of course you can't just buy brand new CR 250 or 480 gearbox parts off the shelf so um, a local engineering shop made brand new gears for uh, the required engines. Now these are the bike builders. Uh, from left to right we have uh, Steve Denton, uh, then we have Mark Fredeno, then we have uh, Phil Denton himself and uh, to the right there we have young Luke Fredeno. These are the boys that uh, put these bikes together. Now uh, on the day of the uh, 2012 uh, race event, uh, this young man here would be one of the riders for the 480 Hondas. That's of course American uh, motocross star Chuck Sun. Now when I took these particular pictures, this was the first time I had uh, a chance to meet uh, Chuck. And I must say uh, he was a perfect gentleman uh, on the day. Never met the man before in my life and uh, you had the feeling you could sit and talk to him for hours. Of course the other riders who would be riding the remaining bikes were of course uh, Jeff Ward, uh, Doug Dubach and of course uh, the man himself Ryan and Rhino Hughes. 
Now Chuck uh, loved the uh, 480 Honda over the course of the weekend, although uh, a slight problem with one of his rear wheels collapsing during practice uh, was about the only uh, misdemeanour the bike had over the weekend. Now of course uh, what Phil was actually achieving here was building factory fresh uh, Honda CR250 and 280 bikes using uh, nothing but uh, scrap parts. Although when you look at the finish of these superb machines they could quite easily be mistaken for bikes that have been dry stored for uh, 30 years and then just lifted straight out of the crate. Now, it took Phil and the guys uh, quite some time to actually complete the build of these uh, four machines and uh, they were only just completed uh, just about a week before the 2012 VETS MX Nation. In fact, uh, a lot of the uh, adjustments and tuning tweaks were actually done at the racetrack uh, on the day. Of course, if you'd like to read the full story of the build of these machines, just uh, check out issue 55 of VMX magazine. Now these are one of the uh, 480 Hondas, of course they were two of the 480s. These had an absolute ton of work uh, with uh, fabrication and adjustments on the frame to take the 480 motors and uh, Phil tells me that these were mega expensive bikes to build and he still resisted the temptation to actually tell me how much uh, this actual bike cost to put together. Anyhow, soon after the 2012 uh, VETS MX Nation event, both the 480 Hondas uh, were then sold. Uh, the 2250s were kept in the Denton family as uh, Phil's son Steve and uh, Mark Fredino were going to be racing the 250s at their local Twin Shock events. Now results wise at the 2012 MXDN on these bikes, it was Ryan Hughes and Doug Dubac who were riding the 250s who took the overall win in the VETS MXD Nation Twin Shot class. Uh, Hughes was flying on the 250 and believe me, he was very quick because uh, I was actually there to witness it. Of course, Phil Denton Engineering Services supply parts and service for all makes of Japanese Twin Shock and Evolution machines. But uh, don't just take my word for it, why not just uh, have a look at their website and see what they can do for you. And I must say, it's an absolute credit to the Denton Engineering guys who can uh, put out workmanship like this uh, using basically what was essentially just second-hand parts. Absolutely beautiful bikes. So there we have it, that's the Phil Denton Engineering American Twin Shock uh, race bikes for the Farley 2012 MX Nation. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this short video. So uh, until my next post, uh, thanks for watching.